Hey, today we're going to look at other people's channels and how to research them so how you can look at applying that information to your channel. So let's get started now. Hey YouTube, today we're going to look at uh, doing something a little different uh, with the colder weather. I'll be looking for new ideas to bring you content and today I'm going to bring you um, how to research other people's channels and apply what you've learned to yours and how to look at their channel. Today we're going to look at Street Speed 717 um, and this is going to be in a series because I'm going to look at the 717 crew. The 717 crew is relatively close, they're about an hour and a half, two hours away from me so it's very relevant to my channel. Um, and they have similar content, so it's a great way to look at it. Today we're going to concentrate on Street Speed 717, and we're going to look at his the beginning of his channel. Um, there's no sense looking at somebody with 500,000 views and what they're doing at 500,000 views, because at 500,000 views or look or subscribers, they're looking at how to get to a million subscribers, and they're doing the things to do that. I need to be looking at what they're doing in the early days now. I'm looking specifically at the dynamic of the uh, 717 crew um, for some personal reasons. So we need to start with Street Speed 717 because he's got the most viewers. He is the the main persona of that group. He's the one driving everybody else's. So we're going to take a look at his channel and see what we find and then we're going to use that information and compare it to the other people in the 717 crews and we're looking for that big spike. What really got them to the next level early in their career? So let's get to it. Today we're going to look at Street Speed 717 success, reverse engineer it to see what we can learn from his rise um, to 590,000 subscribers in about, I think it was about two years. So we're going to just kind of go through his channel and his history and we're going to see if we can find defining moments that really, um, really pushed him up to where he is today and see what information we can take from that and apply it to our own channel. So let's let's find out some things about him. This is his uh, YouTube channel page. 590,000 subscribers and yes I do subscribe to him and I do get notified on his videos because well he's the most successful automotive YouTuber in my area and in order to keep my channel relevant and current and I need to know what other people are doing and you can see I subscribe to pretty much the whole 717 crew as he has it listed over here um, and there's some reasons for that the most important reason is is again is because these guys are successful and um, success what can I learn from them I need to, to determine what I can learn from them to apply to my channel and grow so we're going to take a look through here. Um, the first thing is he's got a nice branded head page. Um, uh, he does lay out his channel very well. Um, let's see. So his most recent video, it looks like, goes up here as a subscriber anyway. Um, he does have his team. He's highlighting the, the, his friends on YouTube that he's collaborated with and done some things. Um, related channels are automatically generated. Um, so yeah, it's a nicely laid out front page. Uh, we're going to go into the videos later because we're actually going to need to look at that. He has a couple created playlists. Um, featured channels, which is what's on the side there. Now the about. All right, my name is Mike. I make car videos and put them on the internet. And he has kept it updated because he has the McLaren listed. Do not mention e message or email me about YouTube partnerships and networks. Now, in case you don't know, um, I've I've heard some some people complain about this. Um, YouTube partnerships and networks. He's gotten some heat on this. I want to I want to clear this up. YouTube partnerships and networks are not collaborations. Um, they are actual companies 
uh, to use it loosely, that basically say that they are going to drive traffic to you and get you things to review from these companies and things like that. For and, and for them doing that, they get a portion of your ad revenue. Uh, in the past years, um, like last year, it was a big thing that uh, come to light that these companies were not actually sending anything. They were just taking money, especially for smaller YouTubers. Um, you know, they would have their big clients and they would give them everything. And then the little guys got nothing, but they would take their money. And I believe you're also locked into a contract and can't do anything about it. So that's what that is. Um, this is not about collaborations. Um, I've seen Mike do several collaborations and give shout outs to other channels and stuff like that. So I just want to clear that up because I have seen people make comments about that, um, that information since I'm showing it. I want to clear it up now it does have 122 million views and he joined January 6th of 2015. So He's been doing this for nearly three years, so we're going to dive into a little deeper to see what he's been doing in those past three years. So the first thing we're going to do is go to videos and go all the way to the end. So you can see how many videos he has. He has so many videos, um, a daily YouTuber least recently all right so two years ago his first video is taking delivery of my 2015 vet uh, now we don't know if this is his first video um, he could have deleted everything prior to this um, he could have just said okay my channel is going to be about a Corvette so all this stuff beforehand I didn't uh, do anything with in let me see if we can go in and get, we should get be able to get an upload date Okay, March 12th 2015 and We said that he oops. Well, we said he was January 6th 2015 so for well, it's only three months in um, That's when his channel officially started and the next thing I want to do we have to go all the way down the bottom again is we want to see how often he was uploading in the beginning because he's he's doing daily vlogging now we want to see what it was like in the beginning so let's go to his first say five videos and let's find the upload date um all right, so the first one was March 12th, 2015. Then he went to March 25th. So it was two weeks later. Um, and then April 27th. So it was a month, like a month later. So we can see he didn't really get his start just jumping in. Eh, he went to the 29th. So he had two in a row. Then May 11th. And something else. Okay. So March 12th, March 25th, April 27th, April 29th. So not consistent when he first started, which is typical. We all started there where we said, oh, we're going to do it and never really did it. Um, so, and again, we don't know, were, was he doing things in there that um, he wasn't... Um, was he doing things in there that wasn't that he doesn't want to do anymore? So maybe he did things about dogs, and he did he decided, you know what, this is going to be a Camaro uh, Corvette channel, and I'm taking all those away. So we don't really know about those things. But you know, let's um, go further deeper into um, what he was doing with uh, Social Blade. Now, if you don't know Social Blade, Social Blade is a um, is a tool you can use to see history of different people and you it, it tells you a lot of information so we're going to use that to um, move forward now it shows the last 30 days october 10th november 8th um i want to caution people that their estimated earnings are not um they're not accurate and they're they're bribing mean, 74 dollars to a thousand two hundred dollars i mean you know um it's a broad range and it depends on a lot of different factors so take it with a grain of salt but um, we can see you know he's getting 
thousand subscribers a day and he's getting you know looks like it about well 200 averaging 277,000 views and averaging 775 um, subscribers a day but what we're really interested in is going to be this down here because we're gonna go back we can go back to July 2015 and see what he has so let's come back we're gonna get rid of all of these these five first ones because we can't see any information let's try and find July um let's see his first big one well let's here the five worst car show guys this is a big then we don't know again we don't know where these views came from and when but June 25th so let's go a little further oh uh, here we go the SS so this has got a lot of views. This is the next really big, 100,000 views. Um, so August 4th. All right, so we're going to start here from our reviews platform, and we're going to look at the next five. Um, and what we're going to do here is look at when he uploaded. So August 4th, August 5th, August 7th, August 12th, August 14th. So at this point, he is uploading regularly. Um... So it's a good time for us to start. So this is where, pretty much where he came in and said, this, uh, this is what I want to do. So let's see, we're in August. We're going to say, and you can see right up here, my the daily subs, we can find out what's going on. So, you know, he's getting, he's al already getting 100 subs as well. It varies, but you can see how it jumps around, but he has his really good days and things like that. Um... So he's doing better than what a lot of channels do from the start. And I think there's a couple of reasons for that, but we'll, we'll take a look. So here's his total subs in January. He already had, in July, he already had a thousand subs. By mid-August, he was at 4,000 subs. Um, so the channel took off right from the beginning. Um, video views... This is strange. I'm not really sure what was happening here, but if you look, he's getting negatives in here. Like here's negative 18,000, um, but here's 32,000. So we really don't know why it jumps around like that. But still, he's getting thousands of views and thousands and thousands of views a day. Um, here's his total views. And you can see it's just growing, you know, by this time, and he, he already has 279,000. Um, seems to be growing a lot faster than what I would expect. So that tells me two things. Either he deleted videos and he had more videos than he actually, I mean, because, I mean, he basically, if he started in March and... Um, you know, he may have been finding his channel and deleted the videos, like, because he was doing it on something that he chose to not even have on his channel anymore. Um, average views per day. So this will be interesting. So he's in, at this time, he's getting an average of 3,000 views a day. And the total views per month at this time is 500,000. He's getting a half a million views very early when he started this channel. So let's look for those defining. When did it really take off? What was his big thing? Now, there was a couple things that he had um, that really took off. And now, like I said, these you can't tell when these views were. These... Um, you know, 100,000 views could have happened over a two-year period. You don't know how many, but we can actually go into that. And we can see, and this is um, TubeBuddy. I have TubeBuddy installed on my um, on my 
browser so I can actually uh, see some of the information on the side of his so we see how many um, total views we see his estimated earnings on this video which again is not it's an average and it's, it's not accurate um, I think it based it on a, a CPM of a dollar fifty or one point five percent wait what is the, the CPM of a dollar fifty that's what it bases it on but it can you know he with one hundred one thousand views it's saying twenty five dollars to four hundred and three so it's not accurate it just kind of gives you a, a thought um historically you can see it was published 827 days ago but it only took off at the very end of this it got a lot of views so and the car is going away so that could be why it's it got that spike so along the way it didn't make, do very well um is an engagement rate people aren't commenting he only has 419 comments he's averaging uh 96 views a day for four hours but again it's all here um average view duration people are watching it for four minutes if we go through this ad um we can see how long the video actually is so it's a 12 minute video on average people are watching it four minutes um has a 94 percent like ratio he's gained 49 subscribers off of this video and it has 419 comments which we can see um, now the SEO the search engine optimization if we come down here we're going to see that of the 20 down here seven of them are his so you can see street speed street speed uh, street speed street speed street speed street speed so you want to have a lot you want, your goal is to have 20 of 20 or as close as possible title tags and title is this information here um, he has zero that have this so it's not very good in that but there are some other things going on with tags and we don't really know the there's nobody out there that everybody speculating what to do with tags and how to get your yours to rank and things like that um, and I can also find out his rank tag so if any of these are actually showing up on searches and they're not so all of these things a lot of these things aren't helping him at least not from a search perspective and then there's channels how many videos he has how many subscribers and how many views so here's a, a video we can we can find out a lot of information about so even though it has a hundred thousand views most of those views happened very recently um, so let's see what else we can learn about his videos so how to drive strix chip easy step by step there you know that it's did well uh, in case you don't know what stick shift is it is the best anti-theft device you can find in the United States because nobody knows how to drive it you don't want is your car stolen don't get a stick shift or get a stick shift rather um, let's see what else we got here though myths getting pulled over why Okay, why Sky, Nissan Skylines are illegal two years ago. Let me get clean up a little bit here. So again, 200,000. And let's take a look at this. Now this did well right off the bat for the most part. Uh, first 48 hours he had a, over a thousand views. Um, gained 216 off of this so 500 comments uh, he's only got five suggested and these are today who knows what it was two years ago when he put it out but as you can see here he's got three ranked tags which again are poor but GTR he'll show up number 15 search for skyline will be 16 and wire are Nissan skylines legal he'll be number three so that that's how that works um, but we're still diving into can we let's come over here where did he get a big big jump um, 
So we got a lot of subscribers based on 625. It was probably his biggest one was 625. Let's see if we can get that, but take a look at what we got in the meantime. Um, so he had a 2015 Corvette. He bought a Hellcat. Then he bought the 2016 Corvette. So his channel's um, going around muscle cars. Okay, now here's, he had a day with Doug DeMuro, DeMuro. so, you know, Doug DeMuro has a million subscribers, a big thing. Um, I had thought, when I originally did some research to do this, I thought this might be a big event for, for his channel. Um, and it does have close to 100,000 views today. But it was January 18th, 2016, and we already determined that you know, and he did get a, a bump in subs. Well, that's January 2nd. So he got a bump in subs, you know, shortly after that, right here. Um, he was getting it and died back down. We're really looking to see what happened in J June of 2016. So the Demiro thing helped, but it didn't do a lot. So here's winter. That, that looks like that's not going to happen. That's not where we want to be. Um, still has the Hellcat here. Let's see what, what the date is. February 29th. So we're still need to get through. Looks like we're getting warmer out, but I don't see anything on the trees. All right. Look at this. My new car. May. So yeah, this is it. This is this is the area. This is what it did it. Um he bought the vet. He's back to the vet. And that that is what messing with a McLaren the McLaren. Hmm. And he's starting to do collaborations. There's, um, I think that's Muscle versus Tuner. We started doing things with Muscle versus Tuner. I know this is when they had the two cars together. That's all Muscle versus Tuner. Let's see, when is this? So June 22nd. Here we go. So this is where he got, he started, he got a big bump. Um, but he already had a lot and that's, that's kind of the key. When you're looking at this, the key is, is that if we look down here at his total subscribers in July, he already had a thousand subscribers. So in July, <coughs> so in July, he was looking at how do I get to 5,000 subscribers? Um, and he was doing things to get to 5,000 subscribers. In um, June, he had 92,000. So how do I get over 100? You know, he was already at, you know, he was striving for 100. And that's the key thing you need to realize and where we're going to kind of wrap this up. You need to look at what was happening um, at the time that it started. So what he did to get a thousand subscribers is much different than what he did to get to a hundred subscribers. Um, you need to look at where you're at in your, um, in your path to determine what's right. And in my path, street speed is not the person I need to be looking at. However, 
because I'm researching the whole 717 crew, I'm actually going to be looking at um, at his influence on their channels. That's going to be a big thing that I'm looking at when I do this. So I need a history of, of street speed and Mike and what to do um, so that I can apply that to those other people. So I'm going to end the video here. I hope you learned something with this. If uh, how to research a channel, like I said, this channel, there's a couple other things going on, uh, his age and, and his probably his contacts, the amount of people he had already on social media are a big factor for him. Um, so now it, it's taking this and I'm going to look at how this applies to Nick and Nandy and, and those guys to get a better idea of where, what, how I can plan a successful channel for me. Now, one thing I want to say is, is that we need to cover the last thing is that his channel, you can see that when he bought the vet, that's when things started taking off for him. Um, it's definitely a vet channel. Uh, he may have made a mistake buying this McLaren recently for his channel, but he still has the vet. So it still should be uh, good for him. Um, so by just buying a vet today is a, uh, Z06 is not going to give you the same successes. I don't. I don't believe it will. Um, I think that today, if you were going to try and duplicate his success, you know, you need to get a car like the Demon. Like the Demon, you could probably duplicate his success because people are going to be looking to follow that car. When he started this channel, the C7 just you know basically came out. Someone in their 20s couldn't afford it, but wanted it, and that's why his success was there. So I think that the if you just bought a, a C7 today as a young 20-something year old, it, it wouldn't have the same success right off the bat. It would take longer to get there. But if you were going to do something, a demon would be the way to go. Um, if you have the means to do it, which is not always the case. So. I'm going to end the video here. We're going to uh, continue this in a series of the whole 717 crew and just kind of see how their interaction, because that's what I'm most interested in, is looking at what their channels created and how their interaction benefits um, each other so that and see if it's a duplicatable uh, process. So if you like the video, give it a big thumbs up. And uh, if you're still here, make a comment down below if you think my um, assessment is right on or if uh, there's something else that you see that contributed to his success uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you're notified of future um, and watch the entire 717 crew to see how they benefit in each other and grow your channel and hit that bell so that you're notified when they're uploaded so uh, we'll see you next time Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up and make sure you hit that subscribe button so you're notified when we have another video and we'll see you next time.